good morning. It's another beautiful day. Getting the baby loaded up and then we are headed offshore. Maybe some mahi, maybe some tuna, maybe some mutton snapper. I haven't really made up my mind yet, but see you guys in a few minutes when we get the boat all loaded up and ready to go. It's gonna be a great day. good enough for what we're gonna do baits are getting a little bit bigger out here in the bay these are all like the sandy key pilchards they're not not too big to begin with but i don't know i am i'm still very indecisive on what we're doing um but it's all gonna depend on what happens when we come out of the out of the block out there in hall over inlet we hit super flat calm seas it's supposed to be, we're gonna run, just see if we can pick up some mahi. I love flat calm days where you can just see them. Um, should be a little bit easier than the other day. But uh, if not, we're gonna come back. We're gonna probably get some ballyhoo uh, and then do some drifting. So we'll see you guys out there. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, I don't think he's big enough, though. He's a little guy. I mean, we, we're in 800 feet of water off of Miami. He just popped off. All right. He was a tiny one. He was alone. I don't think there's anything else here, boys. Woo! Good start to the day. That's what I'm talking about. Now let's find some keepers. Really? Not not too shabby. 10 minutes, mahi on. Found one patch like this and there was a mahi on it and that was it. That little guy, nothing big, but at least they're here. That means we're gonna keep on searching. Oh! 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 Can't even get that far. Damn jacks, man. I'll tell you one thing. These bait patches are loaded, boys. Those jacks are hungry. been much but we got a patch right here there's a bird i don't know if it's traveling or it's working oh it looks like it's working a bit that's nah, traveling oh yeah oh yeah that's a good sign boys that's a good sign get out oh yeah Come on, come on, come on, come on. Some, Saul, Mr. Bird. Come on. Oh, look. I think those are jacks. Big jacks. Big jacks. I mean, there's mahi around here somewhere, boys. Oh, that was a jack. No mahi yet. Jacks everywhere. I have a good feeling we're gonna run into some mahi. Oh, those jacks are coming in hot. All right, we put in some time. We put in some effort here. 
Let's keep on rolling. They're definitely in this area. Usually you got to find a few things. It's like they got jacks on them. That's, that's a good sign. If there's bait on it, it's another good sign. It's a better sign when you see some mahi. Usually, I mean, I've caught fish on a screw up and sat out here for 10 minutes and they showed up, but usually if the mahi are around here, three or four casts, something would show up, but not onto the next unless you find a really good spot that may produce looks like there's a line out here so let's go oh there's there's mahi 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 there he is there he is Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I think these are keepers, boys. Oh, no. It's a fucking... The jacks ate him. Oh. Can't get them to eat it. Can't get them to eat it. We're gonna throw some bait. Boys. Sometimes. There we go, my on. There we go, baby. Woohoo! Final. Ah, uh, they too short. We're gonna see if there's any bigger ones out there. He is a small guy. I just saw one right there. Oh yeah, they're all small. That one's a bigger one. I saw one bigger one down there. We're gonna try to pick him off. Look how tiny this guy is. Where'd he go? See a couple. Come on, where, where's the bigger guy? Oh! Nope. Small one again. Oh! There he goes again. Nope, another guy. Just spit it. All right, we're not catching any more of these guys. They're too small. Whew, all right, we're catching them. So everything we're catching is tiny. There's a lot of weed in here. Been in a while. Whew, we are out here. Might as well go to the Bahamas. Holy hell, water's blue. And I am feeling mahi, baby. No, oh, fucking jacks.
They're everywhere behind the boat. Oh, there he goes. There we go, baby. I think these are keepers, finally. Okay. Let's get some bait in. Oh. They look too small. Again, there's a lot of them. Nice. You can't make this stuff up. You can't. Mahi. Everywhere. Another one. It's too small. I got him. All right, bud, we're gonna let you go. All right, well, they're out here. There's a lot of mahi. He's close. They gotta be 20 to the fork, so we're 49. This is 31. There should be 51. He's technically a 20 inch keeper. He's a keeper, but buddy, to another day. Just keep tossing and looking. Jacks, 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 jacks. Down. Let's get some baits in there. Whoa! They are going ham out there, boys. Oh, I didn't even get it in the water. Hop! Oh. Ha ha! Yeah! There we go. There's a shorty. We're gonna we'll keep this guy out there. We're gonna put this guy in the boat. He's a keeper. Okay. Nice size mahi. Nice one. Nice one. Let's go, baby. Give me my jig bass, boys. I still see him out there. There they are. Let's hunt him down, boys. Where's the big guys at? Ho! Oh. oh, another one. Woo! We hunt them down, boys. Oh no. They're too small, these ones. All right. He's too short in the box. All right, okay. That's a decent sizer right there, boys. Let's get him in the box. I gotta roll a little slower. There's a lot of fish here. Again, come on, spit it. Don't even, don't even get up here. Ow. Oh, that hurt. All right, guys, we finally, we found them out here in about 1,500 feet of water. Uh, there's there's a lot of fish. There's a lot of shorts. I honestly, I probably, I could have caught an unlimited amount of small fish today. Um, I probably ended up catching like 10 or 15. I passed up so many, I left on schools. I did find those couple a couple keepers, so I'm excited about that. Made the whole trip worth it. But either way, I love I just love mahi fishing. I mean, you can't. I mean, can you beat this? Right? There's no wind. Middle summer, water's crystal clear, right? And you can just see the mahi. You know, I'm 
I'm lucky enough that I get to, to have the tower, um, you know, and able to, able to see them all. But, you know, either way, it's a great day. So uh, we are going to head on back in to haul over. Uh, it's probably about a 16 or 18 mile ride back in. Um, and then we'll fly up these fish and hopefully do some fish tacos. I don't really know. Um, we will see. So we'll see you guys. We'll see you guys back at the house. I'm freaking hot. It's freaking it is hot. Oh, oh, what a good, what a good day. We'll see you guys in there. Yep, I am not leaving them in overnight. I'm not gonna feel like doing it tomorrow. Yeah. Pull the plug on these babies. And we got her. Two mahi, nothing. Nothing huge. Nothing huge to ride home about, but either way, they're gonna make some solid fish tacos. Get them over here to the play table. All right, let's do this. Scarping her up. Here. All right, let's do this guy first. Yeah. So, two different ways to fillet them. Right, one is make it bleed everywhere, like I just did. So. One way is to grab the skin, and just pull it right off like that. And then just work the knife down its back there, down its spine. So they're kind of on both sides. And then just kind of run the knife. Right up the back. There you go. That was an easy fillet. Alright, so that's one way. The second way was this. Oh man. It's like any other fish. It's not to take the skin off. So we're done. Whew. The only problem with doing it like that is that you still gotta cut the skin off. So Nice mahi play. It's gonna make it's gonna make some solid fish tacos. Put them in a bag and put them in the fridge so they can kind of stiffen up a bit, and then we're gonna cook them up. Maybe today, tomorrow. We still have all the blackfin tuna and the vermilions from yeah. You live, you learn when your heart. 